reactions are on Patreon, or if you want, you can pull up your copy of episode 15 of season 6 of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, 28 pranks later, and press play on it when I press play when the timer reaches zero. I have not seen 28 Days Later, which I feel like is a common statement on this channel. I need to watch more movies. Not, I've not seen 28 Days Later. I've not seen film, but I understand the reference. Sorry, I need to watch more movies. Honestly, with the way these clouds are making their own little light reflecting the moonlight, I assume it's honestly gorgeous out. You are, you are being very brave, Fluttershy. You are being remarkably brave. Could you have done this five seasons ago? It's a prank. Okay, yeah. This is... Well, we know it can't be Pinkie Pie, because Pinkie Pie knows not to prank Fluttershy like this. Me, me, Rainbow Dash knows too. Them, them both. So if it is one of them, come on. Gosh, darn it! This is mean. Pranks are often mean. I think this could be an exhausting episode if this is where we're at. Yeah, that's why you shouldn't have done it. Okay. To be fair, that was a little too easy. Sorry. Fixing this thing. All right. It's like... I don't know, I would... <laughs> I think that is a line I really appreciated more than it deserved in season one, where they're like, oh, we don't, we, let's not do that to Fluttershy. Uh, it's clearly, this was not character, uh, important. You know this, Rainbow. <laughs> you all have gotten some brain damage in the last few seasons, I see. <laughs> that was a bigger burn for her. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. no. The whoopee cushion thing barely qualifies as a prank. More of an annoyance. <laughs> no. The villain origin story we didn't need. What the fuck? Kids. Always the kids. And if the prank is, haha, you didn't get the uniform, not much of a prank. Ah, one of those. Okay, it's a, that's impressive at least. It's 
See, I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. It's weird, but I'm totally down with that prank. See, this might be an overcorrection. I, I think you can be, actually. I might have agreed with you before I saw the extent of this. I would have been wrong. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this one in particular. It's... It's... I, I, we should have gotten to see that one in action, to be honest. How? What is it, the toupee? Yeah, it's always the toupee. See, we're back to that's just mean. I'd go as far as to say is that one doesn't even qualify as a bad prank. That was just an attack. <laughs> okay, that that one's funny. That one's contextually again don't know how to feel about this one. Oh yeah, we got that one was just weird. That one is just an attack. You've had a couple okay ones in here. That one is... That one is literally some schoolyard nonsense. You're enlisting the expert. Yeah, they got you so good. <laughs> Trying to approach this delicately, huh? Oh, I really hope we don't go the route of they're all just being too sensitive, or something stupid like that. Oh, like you couldn't just stretch up there? Girl Scout cookies. I'll give this I'll give this episode this much. Rainbow Dash is the established prankster. At the very least, isn't that character inconsistent in this episode episode? Yeah? Probably not FDA approved, but again, okay, I'm gonna, in the world of My Little Pony, I'm gonna, really, that one's, I, again, probably not FDA approved, but, but ignoring that, otherwise, this is probably fine. 
Like, again, this is something that would be fucked up in a real-world context, but in the context of the show, I think we're fine. Why is she? <laughs> Did they actually? Are you pranking her double whammy to get her to unjoke the cookies? We're not, we're not putting two and two together on this one, are we? Maybe she actually is sick from the cookies? Okay, okay, FDA approval mattered. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna. I did, I did not think food poisoning was gonna be a thing. I mean, it's obviously, okay, not totally obvious because it might go the other way. It's probably a prank on Pinky's part. I wonder if there are exactly 28 pranks in this episode. That'd be fun. <laughs> that is... That is not okay! Okay. Well, now I'm... This is going a lot farther than I thought it would by this point. I thought there would have been the panic moment already. You poisoned the water hole! Okay, they're definitely, well, the very least, rarities in on whatever the reverse prank is. Probably. It's not fun and for an episode if everyone did just get incre incredibly sick. It's probably a little bit more harrowing, but I don't think that that's what they're going for. Ordinarily, I would think that making Rainbow believe that she'd poisoned 
all of her friends would be too far even as a rebuttal to prank. But you gave them rainbow cookies, rainbow girl. This was, this was not your best plan. Like, if this sort of thing is possible with food in this world, then you should have considered it. <laughs> there was an episode of uh, Foster's Home for Imaginary F Friends that was similar to this setup right here, but it was... Dead. <laughs> Craig McCracken Think, thinking now actually anyway it was similar to this setup but it was so much more bullshit what happened because I don't remember the, all, the whole details the whole setup but they, they make Blue think that they're all like gonna kill him like they've gone zombies or whatever it is in fact, I wonder if they're recycling a plot here a little bit. <laughs> anyway. So he runs away and he causes a little bit of damage while he's running. And then they get, after all said and done, they're like, how dare you wreck all this stuff? And he, I'm sitting here like, he was running for his life. <laughs> How dare you wreck all this stuff? Clean it all up, and they like give him a broom or whatever they did. And <laughs> shit, it was so stupid. <laughs> that was just her normal pace. I don't know, I feel like it would have been a lot safer to just keep moving. You think? You're laying out on a little thick, but evidently you need to. <laughs> oh, they just broke that board like it was nothing. <laughs> Your explanation was too slow. <laughs> <laughs> I I I don't know how far is too far in this situation, but I, this whole si this and nothing here should have happened. Oh, 
Oh, you do not get to take center stage here, Pinkie Pie. You were like, oh, I'm bored <laughs> for, for the longest bit. Okay. Rainbow Dash was using whoopee cushions and, like, skunks. You're like, let's say you caused a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, okay, this was too far. Even as the ultimate rebuttal, you, you took it a couple steps too far. Nope, not at all. We already did this once, remember? <laughs> she get, gotcha. <laughs> I guess this is the better of the pre- Okay, that music, okay. This is the better of the prank episodes. I don't really like pranks. This is basically that one Foster's Home episode, like, in so mu much regard, yeah. Cause that, that was them, them in that episode too, is they, they did a whole zombie shtick to get back at the prankster. Like, it, it, it would be very surprising to me to, to learn that they weren't intentionally using essentially the same plot. Next time.